G'day guys and welcome to the first ever subscriber paint tutorial. Today we're going to be painting faces or skin. The example here is my Goliath Ganger. But the model we're going to be painting is a Space Marine head that I've primed with Mephiston Red Spray. If you're painting an Ultramarine then sometimes your head will be primed black or McCrag blue, but that's okay. It doesn't it doesn't really matter what they're primed for this example First we want to start with a base coat of one part Bugman's glow to one part Cadian flesh tone You can use Any brush really I'm just using my My small dry brush, but if you've painted the area around it, you might want to be a little more careful and use an artificer or a, a small layer brush. But all we're going to do is give it two coats of, of this paint and um, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry after the second coat. With the base coat applied, this is what your model should look like. Now I did give mine, uh, ended up giving it three coats because I must have watered down my consistency a little bit more than normal, but essentially if you give it two coats, it should be fine. But don't be afraid to give it three. Next step, we are going to apply a wash over the whole model. This is one part original Reichland Flesh Shade and Lamia Medium. If you can't get the original Reichland Flesh Shade, you can use a bit of the, what is it called, the Gilliman, I think. The Gilliman Flesh, you'll have to thin that one out a bit more though. So that'll just be a, a bit of a trial and error. So we're just going to apply this all over the model. This is just going to help us um, define some of the darker areas so that we can apply our next step. So just apply it over the whole model. We don't really want it to pull any in, in any areas. So move it around quickly. I'll get this to dry and then we'll come back and have a look at it and move on to the next step. With the wash dried, you can see that it's added a little bit of definition to the model that hasn't taken away a lot of the color, hasn't darkened it up too much. That'll help us in the next step, which will be um, layering up the flesh. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to start working on the eyes Sometimes it's good to start working the eyes at this point because they are probably the most difficult thing to paint. So if you make a mistake, it's quite easy to fix. I'm going to paint the right eye because it's actually very difficult to reach the left eye from this position. So I'm just going to use a bit of Abaddon Black and my small artificial layer with a very, very small amount of black. Now you may have to do this a couple of times just to get it, but this is where patience pays off. So take your time on this step and just get some black in where the eye goes. And the, the, the wash part would have um, helped you identify this area as well. So I'll block both the eyes in black and then um, we'll come back. So I blocked in the Abaddon black on the first eye and then did a little bit of a touch up around the eyes just to clean it up. And then I started with some Ullathan white and I've already put in the whites of this eye just because it is quite difficult to reach that side while filming. So now we'll attempt to put the white of the eye in on the, what is it, the left eye. So. Again, a very, very small amount of paint. And how you want to try and get this to go in this area is to just do these little side flicks. You don't want to, you don't want to stab at it. You want to just do these little side flicks until you make contact. Like I said before, this is probably one of the most difficult parts of painting a face is, is the eyes. So take your time. You paint my dry out on your brush a little bit. That's why I just loaded it up. Again, just little side flicks. Just leaving a little bit of that black around it. 
So that step's done. So with the whites of the eye step done, you can see I've already blocked in one pupil on the right eye. What you want to do is get a little bit of Abaddon Black, very small amount. You don't want this to be too thin either. And we'll try and dot this other eye. You want to try and aim for sort of the cheekbone type area if you're just doing a straightforward looking model. But um, sometimes it really depends which way they're looking. And again, I'm just doing sort of up and down motion to get the pupil, I'm not stabbing at it. This is quite difficult to do on camera, so I'll try my best. Just needs to be a little bit thicker, but the position of it's very good. That's not too bad. So there you go, that's the real hard part. And this is why sometimes I do this step at this point, because if you need to go back and do some touch-ups with the skin color, um, it's easier to do it at this point than finishing the skin and then doing the eye. We'll move on to the next layer. The next step is to start layering up with pure Cadian flesh tone. So you want to thin this out a little bit because you're probably going to add two coats of this. I'll be using my small artificer layer. Now all we're going to do is start layering up, but you want to leave some of those recesses just to, to add depth to that skin. So take your time in this step. We're just going to go around. Just try and pick all the high points with this. I'll complete doing this step and then I'll show you what it looks like. Might come back after the first layer so you can see what it looks like and then we'll complete the second layer. So with the first layer of Katie and Flesh Tone, your model should look a little bit like this. Now, it is a little patchy and he obviously has some scar areas that we'll do after this. But having the patchy skin isn't necessarily a bad thing. We'll, um, we'll add another layer of the Cadian. You wanna try and keep a little bit of that, that previous layer too, that sort of translucent layer. So again, just work through all the high points. I'll work my way around this model. We'll do the, um, we'll come back with once this, this layer's dried and we'll, we'll go through the next step. With the second layer of Cadian Flesh Tone done, this is how your model should look. Next step, we're going to be painting with Kislev Flesh. Again, you want to thin out a bit. This is going to be two coats of this. And it's the same theory as before. Hit the high points and leave a little bit of the previous colors. So we're just gonna continue to work to, to lighten that skin up a little bit. I'll go around and do the whole face with this layer and then we'll come back and you can see what it looks like after one layer of Kislev flesh. And then we'll, we'll do the second layer. That's one layer of Kislev flesh down. So your model should look like this. We'll add a second layer now, just to brighten it up a little bit more. Again, just working on those high points. I'll finish this off and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. 
So with the second layer of the Kisly finished, we're actually getting pretty close to um, completing this head. Your model should look like this. The next step we're gonna do is actually add a little bit of Caraberg Crimson to the scars, just to give them a little bit of um, color. Now I've got the original Caraberg Crimson, so I add a little bit of water to it. If you've got the new one, it may be okay straight out of the pot. So again, use your small artificer layer. And we're just gonna wash around those scars. Now it may not look look like look like it's doing much on the, on the first pass, but the red does start to build up pretty quickly. So you want to be you want to be careful with this. I've probably got a little bit too much on my brush, but we'll um we'll persist with it. Just a little bit in here. It's got some service studs, so. You can imagine around your service studs, your skin would be a little bit aggravated too. So we'll just let this dry and we'll come back and we'll do a, a second coat of this. With the second layer of Caraberg Crimson done, it should have some nice little red tinged scars there. The next step we're going to do is start adding a bit of an edge highlight. For this, you're going to want two parts Kislev to one part palette witch flash and we're just going to start picking out the high points so like the nose and the cheeks and stuff this isn't like the previous steps it's not a full layer it's sort of almost like an edge highlight so you want to get like the eyebrows just dot in between his eyes here the lips and stuff his chin so I'll go through and, and finish off this, this sort of edge highlight and then we'll come back. So with that step done, we're nearly finished. All we need to do is really add the highlight to these scars. So you want this to be a little bit brighter than the previous step. So you probably want to go two parts pallid to one part Kislev. And all we're going to do is highlight those scars. Just sort of like that. Now, I'll um, I'll jump off the video and I'll finish the rest of the head so you can see what it looks like when it's complete because it can look a little strange when it's just all the, the same skill and skin color around it. So I'll do that and we'll come back and do a little review. So with the rest of the colors painted in, you can see that it makes a massive difference on a head. And this is why I'm a big advocate of painting test models so you know that the process will work and you just and you don't get disheartened when something doesn't look like it's working flesh can be quite difficult to paint but it can also be um, very forgiving because you can add and subtract the colors quite easily just to get those blends happening more if you want to paint lighter just start earlier on the color um, chart so maybe start with the cadian as opposed to doing the 50 50 and then um add a bit more pallid witch flesh. So yeah, hopefully you guys have found this helpful and uh, I'll start working on the next subscriber only tutorial.